There are moments in some games that instantly bring a smile to my face, transporting me back to my childhood while the rest of the world melts into the background. That's what taking control of Mario Kart Live Home Circuit's Augmented Reality RC Kart for the first time felt like. The joy of driving around my living space from Worm's Eye View while familiar Mario characters zoom by is refreshingly different. Unfortunately, frustrating technical limitations can throw a banana peel into the works. <laughs> Mario Kart Live is a wild hybrid mix of a traditional Mario Kart video game and a physical remote-controlled toy. You use your Nintendo Switch to control an actual RC car around tracks you set up in your own home, viewing the action through the car's camera. Each course is made by placing the four cardboard gates to mark the track, but any additional loops and turns you take along the way are entirely up to you. The Switch then overlays 3D item boxes, opposing AI racers, and all the other things you might expect from a regular Mario Kart game. It's incredibly novel, though not always as smooth as it sounds. Get, get me. Bringing a racetrack to life requires an ample amount of space and has some restrictions in order to maintain a good connection. Nintendo recommends the cart should never go more than 5 meters away from your Switch, which is connected through your Wi-Fi network. That means slow Wi-Fi speeds could cause problems, but most of the connection issues I had were limited to driving too far away from the Switch, specifically onto the other side of the wall. Occasionally, the frame rate dropped while at long distances, and I had a few anomalies where the on-screen gameplay would halt and then skip ahead to where the real-life cart actually was. But for the most part, it worked fine. When pushing Mario Kart Live to its absolute limits, I was able to create a course that was 112 feet long. However, my favorite course was an 80-foot long Halloween-themed figure-eight loop that ran through my living room and kitchen. When combined with the in-game magic of ring boosts and wandering Goombas, it was a thrill to drive through. <laughs> course building is a labor of love, but the fruits of that labor are cool, custom tracks. It's tricky to get the hang of. I failed a lot before making one I wanted to drive again and again. You have to learn to manage troubling turns, debris on the floor, botched gate placement, and more. And there isn't a lot by the way of tips. Also, trying to set up a course in a smaller room didn't go as well. I managed to build a 36-foot track, but there was no room for variety or creativity. If this was my only place to play, I don't think I'd enjoy Mario Kart Live much at all. While making courses is a blast, it can be cumbersome and time-consuming, especially since you need to weigh down the gates to make sure your course doesn't become undrivable mid-race. And having to set up your course every time you play does raise the barrier of casually picking it up. Once your designs are complete, beating your AI opponents isn't too hard on its own. It can be trickier when you've made a course that gives you a proper challenge, but it doesn't feel great to put yourself at an intentional disadvantage just to make things interesting. This is where local multiplayer might shine, but Nintendo only provided one cart for this review, so I didn't have a chance to try PvP out. Oh, and there's no online play. Considering it costs $100 USD for each cart and each player needs their own Switch, multiplayer is a huge investment. That said, there are eight Grand Prix Cups to compete in, and they're all unlocked from the start. And while you can use the same setup every time, each course manages to have a distinct style and flavor. Tracks like World 1-1 are bizarre, futuristic nostalgia trips littered with 8-bit Goombas. And Magikoopa Mirage stands out as an absolute favorite, with Kamek swooping down to mirror mode my own home. Clever gimmicks like this helped make a single room feel far more varied. However, attempts to bring back old favorites like Rainbow Road feel limited by the mixed reality setting. The iconic boosts are there, but it's hard to capture the classic courses, sweat-inducing leaps, impossibly tight turns, and glitzy look on my living room floor. The RC Kart itself controls extremely well. It's not quite a one-to-one -one with the smoothness of traditional Mario Kart games, but it's easy to forget this is a real, physical kart when zooming through a level. The fact that you can execute the iconic Mario Kart Drift is a pleasant surprise, but complex courses crammed into small spaces make it easy for big boosts to backfire. I often found it easier to skip drifting entirely, while normally I'd be looking for every opportunity to do it. That also limits the appeal of the unlockable 150 and 200cc modes, which crank up the speed but are practically unusable without a really spacious amount of room. But while what Nintendo has accomplished here is impressive and throwing digital Koopa shells and dropping banana peels behaves as you'd expect, some power-ups don't work so well in AR. The bullet bill item automatically drives you along the course, but this isn't much help if it steers you straight into the furniture. 
Even so, these classic power-ups make Mario Kart Live feel right at home in the franchise. And new takes like the P-Switch as a way to get coins fit right in. They let you quickly rack up coins for both extra speed and to unlock cosmetics in between races. The biggest drawback of Mario Kart Live in my experience has been the maintenance. I'll admit that I don't sweep my floors enough, but the cart's wheels quickly became visibly dirty and, more importantly, clogged by strands of hair. After just a few hours of play, I had to remove the rubber tires and painstakingly pull the strands out with tweezers to get it turning smoothly again. It's also a huge bummer that Nintendo says the cart can't be used on ramps or outside. <laughs> Mario Kart Live Home Circuit's mixed reality is a novelty that excels if you have the space and motivation to make your courses flourish. When I took the time to really lean into the creative challenge of building a track, I was often rewarded by having a blast racing on it. You do have to watch out for the occasional tech hiccups and clogged wheels though, because those hazards are just as dangerous as any blue shell. For more on Mario Kart Live Home Circuit, be sure to read my full review on IGN, which includes details on how my cat reacted to my courses. And for everything else, you're already in the right place. IGN.